Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely, where we carry the largest selection of wood flowers in the United States. I'm not even going to do like a teaser because you can see everything on my table. So buckle up, buttercups. This is going to be a long one. guys welcome back to another tutorial this one has been requested over and over and over again it is the long taper pedestal over the top arrangements and I'm, I'm ready am I mm. I think I'm ready I will say after pulling all of the supplies out this is gonna be a long one it's gonna be a long one. We're also gonna play with some stuff to fill in this, which might go well and might be a disaster and it'll be comical. I think at the end, if it's a disaster, we'll figure our way through it. So yeah, let's jump in to this tutorial. The supplies needed are greenery. So much greenery. A lot of this greenery is from my stash. This came from Kirkland's in the spring. This is Oh Your Lovely Goodness. Some might still be in the shop, some might come back. We have Solo Wood Flowers from Oh Your Lovely. Of course, this is a Luxe one. Shoot, I didn't look up her It might be Veronica? It's possible, I'll double check. And these are lovely American Beauties. We do have a few of those that are dyed already for you if you are interested in that in the shop. This is our eucalyptus from the basics line and the rest is from my stash. You're also going to need some floral uh, vinyl tape. You're going to need this fun, funky, sticky clay if you're in the situation that I will explain in a second. Some sort of tall pillar vase. Oh, you can see my all the rest of the studio there. Uh, we're gonna play with these. I'll explain what those are in just a second. And let's bring you on down to this right here. That's a Lomi dish with some floral foam in there. And then music, get some music. Cause like I said, this is gonna be a long one. The first thing I need to do is prep our Lomi dish as well as we're gonna add some stuff into it here right away. So let me first grab, oh my gosh, so much stuff. So much stuff. Uh, let me give you some measurements because I'm sure some of y'all will wanna know those and others won't care. But this I got at Walmart. I wanna say it was under $20 for sure. It might have been under 15, which is really nice for this kind of, and it's thick, which makes me feel good as far as, um, you know, the stability. This is, and I always get these wrong and people will tell me in the comments, it's either five and a half diameter or five and a half circumference. I think it's diameter, but I get me wrong. Go figure. So five and a half of some sort of measuring across this vase. And it stands 15 inches tall. Now I have, now this is not a true Lomi dish. Those are trademarked type product, but I found this on Amazon, works similar. Now, ideally, now this isn't perfect because ideally this little rim that's around this, I would want to go in the vase. Instead, mine is on the outside of the vase. This is a nine inch, I believe, dish. And the six inch I have is way too small. Like it almost fits right in there because this is only five and a half. So. What we're gonna do to combat that, well, before we do that, hold up. Ooh, this is gonna be a rhyming one. What we're gonna do in a second is we're going to adhere that there, but, and we're gonna adhere this and this together too. But before we do that, let's fill this sucker. These are like those little Orbeez. I don't know what they call them though. Just clear wa floral water base filler. Lovely. There's like a bajillion of these. Hold on, I think in the, supplies part of it. I didn't really show how, like, let's see if it'll focus. Will you focus? Focus. Teeny, teeny, tiny, like little grains of sand, basically. So, <laughs> I think a little bit will go a long way, so I have to be careful. 
because I um, get excited and then I'm like, oh, put a whole bunch in. But these will balloon up. We're gonna put some water in here and so I thought it would be fun because I'm sure there's gonna be a time lapse in here to see how much they expand. Yeah, there's a lot of them. So we're gonna go a little bit. Worst case, I have to add more. Oh, nervous. It's really hard to estimate how many are in there. Okay, I think that's good. It didn't fill the whole base, the bottom. And I'm worried if I fill the whole, it's gonna just start exploding out. And then I'm just adding. We'll add that much for right now. Sure. Mm. This is what's gonna get me in trouble. I'm like, oh, it's not going fast enough. Oh, I see them expanding already. I have floaters in there too. Is that a is that a problem? That might be a problem. Oh, this is probably a bad idea, Stephanie. Why are you doing this? Okay. Okay, it covers the, the bottom of the base of the base. Like I said, rhyming addition today. Alright, so we'll let that do its thing. What we're gonna do next, let me just move this for a second. Maybe not, there we go, move. Just you guys hang tight. So next thing, I gotta move my camera, I just realized, and we're going to tape this up. So I want this to be uh, removable at the end of the day. You could, if you don't care, you can glue that straight onto your dish. But I'm going, I would still, even if you glued it straight onto your dish, I would probably still put an additional section of, uh, what am I looking for? What's the word? Stability. Like, just add a little extra. You really don't want silly cousin Jeffrey coming around, bumping the table and knocking everything over. So let's just be super, super extra with our, um, Stability. I'm not, that's not the word I'm looking for, but that's the word that keeps coming, so that's the word I'll say. But just get everything nice, nice and, nice and, uh, uh, ad adhered, nice and tight, nice and, um, secure. <laughs> now what word I want, but it's not coming to the forefront, so we'll just, we'll just keep saying what we're saying. You know what I mean. All right, this, it doesn't have to be all the way down to the end of the dish, so I'm just gonna, this will all get covered though, because we've got, did I just cut my finger? Almost, almost, don't do that. Okay, so now it's not, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Ooh, the Orbeez are starting, they're not Orbeez, Stephanie, the little water beads. I don't know how that stuff is like trademarked and things. I don't know if I have to add a ton of water either to them. We'll add more water. I, there's, I'm sure there's directions somewhere. But this is gonna give us the weight so that this is not going anywhere. And I used the clear one. You could probably find like water, like happy little lights too. You could sprinkle in there. Um, but this is gonna fill that up so that you can still have some light coming through it. We'll see if that works. If not, we just have some weird little gel goo at the bottom. That's fine, that's fine. All right, so let's get now this adhered to this. And we're gonna do that with this lovely florist sticky clay. I've never used it. And the um, directions on here tell me nothing. I know that I've seen in the past though, other people like florists have used like plumbers something or other. I just would do a Google or a YouTube search if you're looking for other uh, things to adhere your stuff to. But basically it just says to use it and don't eat it. I'm not even joking, like that's all it says. So I'm just gonna grab some of this off and it is, it's sticky all right. 
Ooh, hello. Okay. I'm going to stick it, hopefully, to this as my plan. We'll see if that works, because right now it doesn't want to stick to that. Okay, fine. Fine, I, I see how you are. Don't want to stick there. I'm going to then instead stick it to the outer rim of my dish, and that's working better. Outer rim of my dish, because that is where it kind of hits that nice little lip of my vase. Don't let it stick to your finger though. Okay. Hold on, we got more, we need more. Ooh, and I just scratched my face so there's a good chance now I have it on my face. It figures, I always have something on my dress or my face by the end of these tutorials, so it's all right. All right, I'm just gonna, I originally made it thinner, I'm just gonna use the full as wide as it is and make a little, a little, uh, whatchamacallit. I'm just gonna kind of outline it with this lovely sticky stuff, okay? And then we're gonna put it in place. Ah, oh, oh, I was like, oh, it's not gonna move. It moved a little bit. But that's because I got all sassy on this. I have some little extra. I'm gonna just kind of smooth that over and get it onto the vase a little bit more. And then we're good. So silly cousin Chad, Jeffrey, I called him Chad first. You, you, just put in your favorite silly cousin. Oh, like it's like, oh, it's, it, it will fall. Stop touching. <laughs> just look at the pretty flowers, dang it. All right, let's get to actually playing with the pretty flowers now. I think a normal question will be asked is, well, how much greenery do you need to fill this? Now this was a nine inch dish with almost a full block of floral foam. I am going to say if you've already made your bouquets, I think the, the amount of greenery is similar to the amount of greenery you need for a bouquet. Depending on like what style you're going for, but if we're looking for this full kind of thing going on, it's a lot of greenery, it is. So be aware of that when you're making your decisions of what you want your centerpieces to be. It's a lot of greenery. So um, I'm going to, originally I've used this for a bouquet, but I'm gonna take this apart and individually stem to put throughout. Same with this lovely piece, and this one's still full stems. So I'm gonna, un, like I'm gonna unstem them. I'm just gonna clip them off their, their main base their home base, I'm gonna clip them off their home base and we're gonna add them in individually throughout. So let's do that quick. And some of these I'm gonna scoot up because they can. Others you can't do that, but with these I can. So I'm just gonna scoot those up, which is nice. Still gonna snip way at the bottom though in case I want some length to them. So, because of the fact that there's so much greenery, you may want to start with a more affordable option, a more basic kind of filler first. Fill in a lot of it. Similar to what we do with like arches, if you haven't seen that video, the arch we did that. We did that with one other like really big long piece. First you fill it with a ton of a more economically favorable greenery that you're not going to see a lot of but it helps build the whole the whole base of your arrangement so that you don't have to spend as much on your favorite filler pieces that are gonna make the piece all come together, but add up very quickly if you're using more than a handful of them per centerpiece, depending on how many centerpieces you have. So keep all that in mind when doing this but they're lovely and I can see why you would want an over the top piece. All right, I'm gonna stop chatting. I'm gonna listen to my music and I'm gonna just start filling it in. And if I think of something that like has to be said while I'm doing that, we'll, we'll stop the music and I'll start jibber jabbering it again. All right, deal?
All right, it's flower time. So first thing I wanna show you is how to stem the flowers because I think that's one of the number one questions uh, besides how do you dye the solo wood flowers is how do you stem these flowers because they do come to you loose. They're not gonna have any stems, most of them. There is, a, there is an, uh, an exception to a few of the hydrangeas, but for the most part, like 145 plus flowers are gonna come to you loose. So what you're gonna do, get yourself some wire stems. I prefer usually 18 gauge. Um, 18 to 20 gauge is kind of the, sometimes I'll do a 16 though too. Um, the smaller the number, the thicker the wire, the harder it is to bend. That's how I think about it. So we're gonna get a little bit of glue on there and you're just going to take from the back end of your flower, wiggle, jiggle, and that's it. Now if you have a flower that has a little bit of a tail to it, you can cut that off and give it a flat base so that you have an easier way to get the stem in there. Just be mindful that all of the flowers are put together by strings. Don't cut off your string or you no longer have a beautifully put together flower. You will have lots of little bits of petals. So there's that. Let's get these flowers. Oh, that was a weird sound. Let's get all these flowers. Ding! <laughs> Speak of me as like a fairy godmother. Ding! Into here. I'll show you though. I'm not gonna just do one of those quick little switcheroos and it's all gonna be done. That would be lovely though, wouldn't it? Okay, let's, let's do this. <laughs> I also need to let you know that I double checked the names of the flowers and I'm glad that I did. This is not Veronica, sometimes I also refer to as Ronnie. This is Liza, Liza. So if you're interested in that flower, there's the right name so that you don't look up the website and go, I don't think this looks like what she was using because it wasn't. So Liza and American Beauties. Also, because of how over the top it is, with greenery and filler. Now, I think you might have been able to see throughout the transitions as we were adding in our layers, you could probably step this back quite a few layers than what I've done. And you still have a very full piece with greenery and then you yeah, put in all your flowers. But because I have so much greenery and filler in here, I'm not gonna be as heavy on the flowers. You gotta, it's a, a give or take. You're not gonna do, why would you spend all that time making this huge floor, like greenery piece to then cover it all up with flowers. So we are gonna use flowers, but not a, a ton of flowers. So this is the amount of flowers I have. I may use them all, I may not use all of them. I do have um, an odd number of Liza's. I have five Liza's, and then I have six American Beauties, but they're in two different shades of pink. There's one, I can, yeah, you can tell. The ones down the middle are a little bit lighter than these, similar color story, very close, but nonetheless, slightly different, so I have three of each of those. I like odd numbers when it comes to my flowers. I don't know why, but I do. Okay, so we're gonna pop these in. Also, I added more water to the, oh gosh, to the bead situation. It's getting there. I may have to take a picture or a video later, like 24 hours after, and we'll see if they got to the, the size. We want. I don't know if you're supposed to fill it all the way to the amount of water you want. I don't know. I don't know how to do these things. I should have asked my kids. They, they play with these things all the time. All right, enough of me blabbering. Let's put the flowers in, shall we? All right, so we've got the white ones in, and I just wanna give you an idea of kind of the placement. I'm doing two different things. A mirror technique as well as some triangles is what's gonna happen. So the mirror technique, if I have one on here, I have one on this side, okay? And then I have one back here, one here. And then I put one kind of close to the top as well to kind of just balance things, but that then gives me triangles. Triangle here, triangle there, triangle there. I don't know why, I'm sure there's like some science behind it, but our eyes like triangles and symmetry. So we've got that, but they're not, perfectly symmetrical. So don't let that get like, like worry you too much. Just similar spacing, similar spots, okay? So then what I'm gonna do is I'm doing these in groups similar to what I did with the greenery, layering it on top of each other, um, going bit by bit. So I'm gonna go with my darker pinks next. I'm gonna do a triangle of those, and then I'll do my light pink to finish it off. 
a triangle of those. All right. All right, you guys, so I did make one little switcheroo after I said do it in groups. I decided that I wanted, and those pinks are so close in color, but I decided I wanted a one, at least one of each of them in that group. So I did two light pink here and the slightly darker one there, full lip around. We've got the two dark pinks up here and the light one down there. So I could definitely add more flowers. I'm trying to hold myself back. I could easily see me putting in a couple, maybe a smaller size of the American Beauties sprinkled in throughout, uh, but I'm not going to. I'm going to. I'm gonna restrain myself for once in my life because y'all know more is more is more with me. But I'm going to, I love this the way it is, even if my, my gut is like, add more flowers. There's a lot going on, so I'm not gonna add more flowers. Um, we'll see what happens with this. I will report back before the end of this tutorial. I'm gonna go run some errands. Looking like a 50s housewife, cause that's how I do on the weekends. <laughs> This is a normal Costco run outfit, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna go run a couple errands. I'll come back. We'll see what is the situation with little, a little whatever water beads are going on. Oh my gosh, also I will say, get yourself, as we like to call it here, a lovely Susan. It makes this type of project so much easier and it makes me feel very Vanna White-esque. Like, I know she doesn't rotate anything and look, maybe Price is Right esque. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's what I'm feeling more of. Not Vanna, I'm a, a, a combination of Vanna White and the Price is Right uh, lovely ladies. I don't, what do they call the Price is Right people? Okay, sorry. All right, I'm gonna run errands and I'll be back and we'll wrap this up. All right, you guys, I'm back with more coffee and outfit change because my husband felt I was too overdressed for Costco. Whatever. <laughs> so here is the final piece. Um, my daughter, my 15 year old came in and was like, you need to add a few more of the little Orby thingy majigs and more water. And I think we still have some more growth that might happen. So it might get up to the top, but otherwise uh, it took three pitchers of water and I couldn't tell you how many of the Orby thingy majigs, the little water beads, um, but it, I still have over a half of the packet left. So. Just to give you an idea of those, here is the final lovely piece. Dun, 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 dun. And I mean, this is, this is heavy. So the one thing I would say, if you're doing something like this for an event and you're gonna have these and stuff, do it, create your piece and then attach it onto this. This part holds really well. You can take it off. Uh, you just need a little bit of extra oomph when you pull it off and it'll come off. And then when you're putting it back in place, you're just gonna really push down and you're set for your event. So I would definitely make my centerpieces beforehand if you're using all uh, faux greenery and the wood flowers, make that beforehand, fill up all your stuff, um, probably early in the morning to get all of those up or you could do it beforehand, but these, these start to get pretty dang heavy. Um, get those all in place and then pop your centerpiece on top using, again, that floral clay, I think is what it was called. I, I called it the right thing at the beginning because I read the package. So, and we'll have links to all of that good stuff um, down below. Also, and there we go. Those turned out pretty dang cute, if I do say so myself. So, if you guys are loving these tutorials, can't get enough, wanna know when the next one goes live, make sure to subscribe and Ring that bell to find out about the 150 style wood flowers along with craft supplies and greenery. Go to ogierlovely.com. And if you're new around here, wanna give the flowers a try, haven't yet, use the code YouTube30 to get 30% off your first order. I think that's everything. Oh, this is so pretty. I think I'll go put it on my dining room table for dinner. The kids are just having mac and cheese from Costco. It's the good stuff. If you haven't had Costco's mac and cheese, oh. It's ooey gooey goodness, not sponsored. Wouldn't that be awesome? I could, I'd love to be sponsored for mac and cheese. Anyway, okay, so I'm gonna go put this on my table where I have a fancy dinner. Maybe I'll go put my dress back on. <laughs>
No, I won't. I'm putting pajama pants on next. Let's just be honest. And I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day. And I hope you do the same. I'm Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely. And you, my friends, are absolutely lovely. Bye, guys. I'm going to finish my coffee. That's what I'm going to do.